Um, so basically what this simulation is doing is, is predicting where the fire perimeter is going to be at any given time across the landscape, taking into account changes in the fuel type and the fuel condition, the weather, the um, topography, and predicting where that fire is likely to spread to uh, at the time given at the top. From everything I've seen, the fire goes fastest in the direction of the wind. So if you see a forest fire coming towards you, what should you do? Well, if you can, the safest thing is to, is to go perpendicular to the spread of the fire, so go sideways. So rather than trying to run with the wind, you run 90 degrees to the wind and get out from the front of the fire. The because it goes, fire, it follows the wind a lot faster than yes, it spreads to the side. That's right. Um, and if that fire has been burning for some time, you might have to run for some distance before you can get outside the fire. But under most conditions, the, the head of the fire is only likely to be you know, in the order of a couple of kilometres at most. Um, if it's been burning for, for many, many days, it may be even larger, but you should have had plenty of warning at that point to get out. Um, fast moving grass fires, they can burn in the order of 20 kilometres an hour, but they will be very ne narrow. And so the key point there is to, is to again, get out. The only um, caveat to that is if there's a sudden change in the wind direction that turns what was a long flank burning with the direction of the wind prior to the change into a broad front. And that front could be many, many kilometres long. Is there any situation where you would run away from the fire so it's effectively chasing you? Um, if, if you can keep, if you can maximise the distance between yourself and the fire, you would do that. So basically if yeah. you can run faster than the fire? Yes, yeah. and, in, and in most situations you probably can. Fires don't spread at abnormally great speeds. The average forest fire may be, you know, maximum rate of spread might be in the order of 10 kilometres an hour. Um, however, you've got to be um, pretty certain that you're not going to trip over and, and hurt yourself while you're doing that, particularly in the forest. It's, it's quite dangerous to, to run seedlessly. From the footage we've seen, the grass fires seem to have a very narrow strip of fire at the front and everything else seems to be yes. blackened. Yep. Would there ever be a situation where you would run through the fire, if crazy as it sounds, and onto the bit that's, that's dead behind it? If there were no other options and you would, you would yeah, run yourself ragged and you could run no further, um, then that is one option. It's not the primary option, but you possibly could if you waited for a lull in the wind and the flames dropped down, you could run through those flames, but you'd need to run far enough away from the flames that you, you don't um, get caught in the smoke immediately behind the, that flaming zone. Is it survivable um, if you do that, or is it just... You're not going to make it anyway? I, w I wouldn't want to try it. I would much rather prefer to go sideways away from the, from the fire. Um, I've most, seen Tom Cruise do that, you see. Most, most fires, there's enough heat in the flame zone to kill you pretty quickly. So I'd be very reticent about trying it. They have to be the absolute last ditch effort. Wow, perfect time for Tom Cruise gag, I thought. Yeah. Um, <laughs>